Welcome back to another YouTube Tuesday. My name is Derek and today we're going to be watching a YouTube video that I think you'll find really interesting. One of the things that you might have noticed on the website is this new brand AY, especially when it comes to Face ID repair cables. The YouTube channel Rewa has put together a great video showing how to use a tool like this. So today we're going to watch it together. Let's get started. Performing dot projector calibration after the IC replacement. This failure is common in dot projector IC solution. It involves three major steps, data read and write, IC replacement, and front camera restoration. One mistake in any of the steps, face ID will stop working completely. If you haven't done a face ID repair before, he's absolutely right. It's extremely tricky. Something that I used to train a lot of techs on how to do, but aligning the, depending on the model, aligning the crystal, aligning the dot projector unit, getting everything perfect uh, was tricky. On top of the solder work, there was uh, the replacing of the ICs, running jumpers, a bunch of different things really complicated and even if you did all of those things right you had to make sure that things were aligned properly and glued properly and secured properly otherwise face ID would either not work or down the road it would stop working as well so having a solution that allows you to avoid all of that is definitely the way to go but now a new face ID repair method for iPhone 13 to 15 series is out in this video, we'll walk you through how to fix Face ID on an iPhone 13 Pro Max using this new method. Face ID is not available on this iPhone. Power off the iPhone and disassemble it. Remove the front camera module. Reinstall the motherboard, since the repair requires the phone to be powered on. Now we can move on to diagnosing the problem. Make sure you've updated the software to version 1.1.76. Each time a new feature rolls out, this step is essential. Log into Refox Assistant. Connect the dot projector repair module to the programmer. Use a Type-C cable to connect the programmer to the PC. Connect the new DC adapter to the repair module. Make sure that the right adapter is connected and the light is on. Otherwise, the repair will not go through. Now that part is really crucial. The power supply that you're going to be using to basically run one of the processes, which is fusing the basically the MOSFET inside the dot projector so that you can bypass it to get to the code that you've programmed onto the flex. So they're having the right uh, power supply to be able to fuse that MOSFET is crucial. Otherwise, you're still going to have the issue of it not being able to access or read the data because it's not bypassing that component. Connect the iPhone to the PC. Connect the dot projector to the Face ID repair programmer. Click test to diagnose the fault. The result reads Lattice IC Fuse, a common failure. Then, proceed with the repair procedure. Click Backup to back up the dot projector data to the cloud. Now there are going to be circumstances where this doesn't work, where the data just isn't accessible. If the cable's damaged, if it's water damaged, there are certain circumstances where you're not going to be able to do this. The process of this repair is going to involve taking the original front-facing camera assembly and making it work again instead of replacing it or uh, replacing just the camera or something like that. There are a lot of reasons why Face ID stops working 
and some of them are fixable with the actual components themselves and some are not fixable using this method there's going to this is basically the solution for those dot projector and infrared camera has stopped working on its own and so those are going to be the, the, the scenarios where this is useful click activate each iphone's dot projector can be activated only once make sure you followed every step before proceeding In the past, there's been other solutions like this, and that was one of the things you needed to step. You needed to follow each step just like this, step by step. Otherwise, you aren't going to have a successful repair, and you might have already you might have already caused enough damage to make it so you can't do anything about it. For example, if you had fused the component without having read the data first then that's basically game over because now you don't have access to the data and the, to be able to read it and it's game over. You have to back that data up before you do that one step. So, and you also need to fuse it before you connect the tag on flux that will have the data to it. Otherwise you won't be able to access that data because it's not bypassing the MOSFET. Remove the dot projector from the programmer. Take out the tag on flex for iPhone 13 Pro Max. Connect the tag on flex to the programmer. Click Cloud Burn. Select the data backed up earlier and click OK. Remove the tag on flex from the programmer. Follow the animation to install and fold the tag on flex properly. Now this is the part that gets a lot of people, it's the origami folding that goes into these flex cables. Each model is going to be different, so each model will have a different fold, so you'll have to kind of reference a guide, unless you've done one several times to kind of know I have to bend the cable this way, then that way, to connect it this way, to bend it that way, and I need to make sure that when I install it inside the phone, I'm not allowing those cables to get pinched by screws, shields, um, or, or in awkward positions where they could easily, uh, with time, start to stretch and tear and things like that. So understanding those things is going to be crucial. Connect the dot projector to the programmer via the tag on flex. The programmer verifies it and reads normal or click test on the software to verify it. Install the front camera module back into the iPhone. Position the camera module correctly. Make sure the tag on flex does not block this screw hole, or it may get damaged when tightening this screw for the earpiece. Install the earpiece. Use you can see how awkward it's starting to be to try to get this lined up perfectly. The position, it, it can be awkward to get those flex cables in the right spot because you're adding something that wasn't uh, intended to be there. So uh, you have to be very careful not to damage the new flex cable um, when you do this. Tweezers to adjust the front camera so the earpiece can fit. Press the earpiece and push it into the correct position. Tighten the screws for the earpiece. Connect the front camera module cables to the motherboard. Connect the screen cable and battery cable. One thing to note, if you're working on these phones in the US, almost all of them you have to remove the battery in order to disconnect the 5G antenna to take out the motherboard. So obviously in this video, they didn't have to remove the battery. Make sure you do that, otherwise you're gonna be kicking yourself for, have to for having torn the 5G antenna. Otherwise, this is a simple process and a simple solution, relatively speaking, to fixing the face ID issues that happen kind of out of nowhere on basically all of the newer iPhones. Power on the iPhone and test face ID.
Face ID enrollment is successful. Unlocking with Face ID works fine. This fix still holds, after the iPhone is upgraded to, iOS 26 Beta. Both Face ID enrollment, and unlocking, function normally. Alright, so you'll see on the website that we have all of the different flex cables for basically all the different models. Some of them are already out of stock due to demand but uh, go ahead and put, click on the notify me on those so that we're aware of the amount of you that want to get it in stock. This is a really cool solution to a frequent problem. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Or if there's a specific model that you'd like to see demoed, comment it down below as well. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.